guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel for another video. We're back out today on the bike. I think this is our woo, last ride before we go on our big trip. You guys are, don't want to miss out on that coming up. We got some crazy stuff coming out. This video is brought to you by Calor Graphics and Trail Tech. Let's go shred some tires. Really hope we got the new bike for the trip coming up. You guys should probably be seeing it like the new, whoa, in the next video. Hopefully for you guys. But yeah, today we're out. Woo! Oh yeah! With the, uh, the old man, we got quite an adventure today. Yeah, today we're going on uh, quite the loop. It's a smoking hot day. It's, what is it? It's 24 degrees out right now at nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah, spring is finally set in stone. It's, it's here. You can really tell when it's this dusty that spring's here. Today's gonna be ripping and just shredding. Our tire is officially cooked. It's done. But we're waiting to see before we put a new tire on it. Woo! If uh, we're taking this bike or the other bike. Because that'll kind of change what I put on it. You know, if we're riding these hard tech trails and I don't get my new bike, I'm going to want the gummy I got sitting on the bench at home. If I don't, well, this enduro bike's life is done. Uh, it's going to be more of just a... It's just gonna be a camp bike after. This bike's fantastic for camping. First little log hop, watch this. That's how you do it. Yeah, we got those down. Pat. Now I can really feel though that this tire is toast. When you get into the loose stuff and you, you, you just apply any throttle, it's all wheel, wheel slip. Now that I'm thinking about it, this might just be the last ride on the BBR KLX 170. If our bike comes in, I don't think we'll be taking this one back out for any more enduro rides, you know, if any. It'll just be the fun play bike to be at camp with, which is crazy to think. But you know what, we've had a really good, good run with this bike. And I hope you guys have been enjoying the heck out of all the KLX 140 videos and stuff. But our channel's about to change forever. You know, once you start, once you start doing two strokes, you know, it's an addiction, you just... It's like being a meth head, you know? You just... It's your life after that. Who knows, maybe way down the line from here, like five years from now, we're back on four strokes, but... I'm not so sure that that's gonna happen. Especially not a small bike like this ever again, but... You know, it taught us a lot of good things about riding. And honestly, I gotta give this, this bike credit for credit to do. It definitely helped me develop my skills a bunch, an absolute bunch. I've definitely had more progression on this bike than any other bike, because it was just, just awesome. And just never any issues with this bike, honestly. I mean, I just wore through its first set of rear wheel bearings for 140 hours. That ain't much to complain about. Magic, boys. Absolute magic out here. God, I'm so freaking excited for what's coming, man. So many cool things coming out. Just want to give a huge shout out to Calair Graphics and uh, Trail Tech for being just such awesome companies. Really love those guys. If you guys need any graphics or any like digital heads up displays your bike, links in the description, boys. Check them out. Support your boys. They are awesome. They're killing it out there. I mean, dang, girl, look at this. This is just magnificent. This is the kind of stuff you get to see when you're out dirt biking. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. This is awesome, boys. Pretty as hell. Look at that view. I'm not sure if you guys were able to tell, but we changed up a little bit of camera settings. So now we're recording at 120 frames per second instead of 60. Figured I'd just uh, try that out. We're also shooting at 2.7K instead of in 4K. Trying to give a bit more SD card space when we go on our journey here, because I got three SD cards. I got two 256 gigabytes and a 128 gigabyte SD card, and I still don't think that's giving enough for all the dirt biking we're doing, so. Trying to see how I can get more space on the SD card for our next ride out. So we're just out for a cruise. We're just hanging out. Our suspension is its best.
actually fun now to rip through this stuff. Before with that stock suspension, this stuff sucked on the Kalex. Now you pair the uh, big board kit with the BBR suspension, oh yeah. Not that this is a motocross bike, but I think it'd be fun to try it. There's a lot of yuppies up here today. I mean, a lot of city folk, you know? That's the only thing that sucked about when, uh, you know, with the vid, was it got all these damn city folks coming out into the woods, pretty much ruining all the nice spots out here with their garbage. They just dump their crap everywhere and it's so annoying. It's like, people, can you just go pay the, the dump fee, for God's sakes? Stop for a little, ah, beer o'clock. Now we're feeling juicy and dialed. It's weird, some rides you just like, you're right into it and you feel just dialed. And then sometimes it just takes you all day. I think today it just took a little bit of liquid encouragement. Good fun, had some lunch up at the lake there. Now we're gonna keep on crickety cruising down to the next location, wherever that is. Yeah, this is some good fun here. Just flying along here. Oh wow, rivers. Bone dry. That's really been picking the boxes for me lately. I got the bug to learn how to jump more, which I think will also translate well to doing rock gaps and stuff on the enduro trails, right? Like, airtime's just good practice. Gotta watch out, I don't eat too many bugs here. Oh, that's fun as. And now we come from the beautiful trees, back into the sun. 